Saint Dominic's story. If he hadn't taken a trip with his bishop, Dominic would probably have remained within the structure of contemplative life, after the trip, he spent the rest of his life being a contemplative in active apostolic work. Born in Old Castile, Spain, Dominic was trained for the priesthood by a priest uncle, studied the arts and theology, and became a canon of the cathedral at Osma, where there was an attempt to revive the apostolic common life described in Acts of the Apostles. On a journey through France with his bishop, Dominic came face to face with the then virulent Albigensian heresy at Languedoc. The Albigensians or Cathari, the pure ones held to two principles, one good, one evil, in the world. All matter is evil, hence they denied the incarnation and the sacraments. On the same principle, they abstained from procreation and took a minimum of food and drink. The inner circle led what some people regarded as a heroic life of purity and asceticism not shared by ordinary followers. Dominic sensed the need for the church to combat this heresy and was commissioned to be part of the preaching crusade against it. He saw immediately why the preaching crusade was not succeeding, the ordinary people admired and followed the ascetical heroes of the Albigenses. Understandably, they were not impressed by the Catholic preachers who traveled with horse and retinues, stayed at the best inns, and had servants. Dominic therefore, with three Cistercians, began itinerant preaching according to the Gospel ideal. He continued this work for ten years, being successful with the ordinary people but not with the leaders. His fellow preachers gradually became a community, and in 1215 Dominic founded a religious house at Toulouse, the beginning of the order of preachers or Dominicans. Dominic's ideal, and that of his order, was to organically link a life with God, study, and prayer in all forms, with a ministry of salvation to people by the word of God. His ideal, contemplator traderia, to pass on the fruits of contemplation or to speak only of God or with God, 